It's very extra in here. <laughs> What's up muggles? How's it going? It's Sophie. I'm back with another video. So in today's video, I'm finally bringing you guys my Animal Crossing Island tour. After many of you guys requested for it, I'm finally doing it. As you can see, it's raining on my island right now. Thanks game. I kept putting this video off because I'm halfway through building my island and I didn't think you guys wanted to see it until it was fully built, but that's gonna take another couple of months till it's fully done. As you can see in the bottom right, I've only got half of my island filled at the moment, but I still think it's worth it and we could turn this to a little series, like an Animal Crossing series if you want. I want you guys to go in the comments down below after this video and let me know what you want me to add to my island. I've got half of it left. Right now on my island, I've got a lot to show you guys and you guys are gonna be Boom. Before we get into the video, uh, it, this island is very much me. It does look like I'm a bit of a hoarder and I've got stuff lying around everywhere, but that's just the way I like it. I like the stuff to be on display. I like stuff to be personalized. So there's a lot of personalized stuff in my island. Very much like my rooms in real life. I've been playing Animal Crossing for a couple of months now. So this is my island. I'm so excited to show you guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up for me. If you want more Animal Crossing videos, give it a big thumbs up so I know. Go in the comments down below. Let me know if you want a little island series or something like that and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos from me i'm trying my hardest to get to 200 000 subscribers and i'd love to have you here also there's no sound on the game right now i had to turn it off just because the music is so loud if you play animal crossing you know what it's like it's like me 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 all right, so where better off to start than my airport? Unfortunately, it's orange. I've seen a lot of people got green airports, which I'm really jealous of, but I got orange one, maybe for my natural hair color. It's trying to make me go back ginger. Oh, by the way, if you're watching this and you don't know what Animal Crossing is, it's basically similar to Minecraft. You get an island, you start off with nothing, and you slowly build it up to be your dream island. As you step in, we got these two Slytherin banners. Obviously, it doesn't look that good there but i want to have it personalized so when someone's stepping into this they know that oh this person's a harry potter fan and the paths are all like slytherin themed they probably don't look the nicest but i want green paths what are you doing by the way uh, for my villagers i'm trying to get majority of them to be penguins i've got like three penguins so far I want to get like at least eight penguin villagers and then like two cute ones that I like normally. She was actually wearing my merch earlier and now she's taking it off just because it's raining. So to the right of the airport, we have got this little chill out waiting area. I kind of like it how it's like a little water dispenser, some food and snacks. Whilst you wait for your flight, you can chill here. To the left of the airport, we have got the beach area. So we have got the Slytherin beach chair. We have got these little Snape lights down here. We have got the Voldemort deck chair. We've got the Snape deck chair, a uh, picnic area, a little ice cream stand over here. I kind of just put this stuff random and I kind of like it. These Snape lights are so cute. So here's a little beach front. It leads onto the main beach down here. So you Harry Potter fans, if you want to add this to your island, go ahead. We've got this here lies the Dobby, a free elf, and it's got a little sock next to it. This is so cute. I love these little references that I can put in here. Any Harry Potter ideas that I come up with, I will put into my island, or if I see them online, I'll put them on my island. Uh, two little surfboards, a little blanket. Um, but yeah, that's my favorite part right here. <laughs> this is really cute. Um, over here to the left of the beach, we have got a little school area. So I managed to get some desks and some chairs. I was like, what can I fill this island up with? Because you've only really got three main things. You've got your museum, you've got your shops, and then you're kind of limited. You've got to fill up your island with random stuff. So I made a little school area next to the campsite. I wanted to have like island vibes. Like you have your whole life on this island. You go to school as a kid. You got your little campsite to come visit. Um, so yeah, I just put a school here. Here's my campsite. Very cute little fireplace. Just a nice little cute campsite area. That was one of my first ever builds. Over here we got a little basketball court area with like, refreshments up here. And over here is my villager section. If you look at the map at the bottom, all 10 houses are next to each other. I haven't really done much to the houses, but I just want them all close together. And you've got this little bit in the middle, a little community area of four dinosaurs. Like, would you not want to walk outside your house and see four dinosaurs just chilling all facing each other? Put little weeds in there, trees in there. So like, it's really cool. I like that little area. I haven't really done much to houses. You can see they're all just very similar. But let me just show you around. I think everyone's in their house because it's raining. Are you in? Yeah, so this is the one I'm... I kind of don't want to have all penguin villagers, but I also do. This one's a cute one, which I want to keep... Look at him, he's a little dessert octopus. So, like, I want to get at least eight 
penguin villagers and then like two cute ones. So I might have to keep little Zucker over here. If I just go on my map, it'll be a lot easier to show you what villages I have, which villages I want to keep. So if I go on here, we have got... These are the four I want to keep. I want to keep Zucker, Hopper, which is a rock hopper penguin, Aura, which is a penguin, and Tex, who's a penguin. All these can go on the left side. Don't like them. It's me. I'm a resident here on Fakey Space. That is an island name. I didn't even tell you my island name. I do want to change it. I, I didn't really think about it. I just put Fakey's Base, but I kind of wanted a Harry Potter reference, so now I can't change that. But all these can go, all six of these. Um, I want to keep Zucker. I don't know how many to get Penguin. I kind of want them all to be Penguins, not going to lie. So those are my villagers, and this is my little villager area. I may expand these out and put little personalised stuff around them, like give them an extra two blocks, and then I know who's inside each house. But I don't really want to do that until I get all ten villagers of who I want to keep. So if we come out of here, go past the basketball court, we have got this little area. This was the first area I ever built. I discovered that you could personalise cushions, and I went a bit over the top. Here is my Sophie and Snape cushion, which I have actually got upstairs in my bedroom. So that's really cute. Voldemort pillow, pirate pillow, chicken nugget pillow, donut pillow, all colour of these sweet machines. There's a little chill out area, you know? Little kids area. Got a little cake stand with the slivering crest on it. Um, I don't want to really get rid of this. Like, it's not as good as like my other builds now, but I feel like you want to keep your first builds. Um, down here is my little DIY section. If you guys play this game, you know that you get these DIY cards and you can't do anything once you have the same one again. So I kind of just clutter them all over here in their own little area. I might expand it because I keep getting more cards and have like more of these DIY desks. If we go above this little chill out area, this is my favourite part of the island. We've got a little Snape memorial here i love the personalized stuff if you guys got any ideas for me please let me know i've still got over half the island to go but i want to make it like personalized areas so i made this little rest in peace snape area with a little picture of him and i made that little stone there as well very cute i had this area i had no idea what to put in it so i put that there now if we go down here we've got my resident services area just put a basic brick around it with little plants here you can't really do much this area you are oh i love him a little rock hopper penguin just a very simple this area is very simple if we go into my sister's shop though we've got something else in here if you look on the back wall we have got my merch section obviously the merch sales are low in real life so now we have to sell on animal crossing but no this is a really cool area if you guys like play animal crossing i recommend putting like shirts and stuff up here because your villagers will come in here and they will wear them around once i had every single villager wearing bakey merch and it was goals unfortunately they're not wearing it now because it's raining outside so thank you villagers for not promoting me during my video so yeah like i said this is a very simple area i might expand these and have little like shops outside the front because they are very simple at the moment i haven't really done anything down here here we have my museum we've got a little like sweet machine we've got the chairs out the front now with museums i don't really put anything in my museum i only put fish in my museum because they look so cool in the tank but with fossils and insects i don't really bother i normally just sell them but i will show you my fish because let's be honest the fish are the real deal so here's my main tank in here look at all those fish very cool got a great white shark in there as you do some more fish down here beautiful and here is my other tank in here little hammy there's actually a villager called lily which i will not be getting outside of my museum to the right we have this little pirate bar area this is my most recent build uh yeah it's like a little pirate area because i love pirates and it looks really cute it's a little bar little stools all this is customized all these skull and crossbones on here little anchor and it leads onto the beach over here which i haven't done anything with at the moment oh a bottle over here we've got another little dining area this is like the pizza american diner area we've got the pizzas out here pizzas in the oven gonna get another table and chairs here to make it a bit more even uh but yeah very cute very red by the way like with like animal crossing i don't really know what else to do apart from like food areas i don't really know what to do i've got so much space up here if you go up here like there is so much room i've got all this back bit there's nothing here nothing up there this is all free so if you've got any ideas please let me know in the comments down below any harry potter references any pirate reference anything really i am down for and i can make a little animal crossing series on my channel if i come up with more ideas 
And like I said, look at all the potential. Like I've got that whole green space in the bottom to do stuff. So if you want to see another video, just let me know. So over here, we have got the house, the main part of the island. Got these little torches out here. Give me a little pirate themed. And here we got like Pirates of the Caribbean themed. We've got these skeletons in the water. I wanted to make it look like that. Here we have my gnome collection. I love gnomes. So here's my little gnome collection. Got every single one there is. Little pool, little spaceman, little dinosaurs. Dinosaur pirates and wizards. That's me all over. Over here we got Dawkins and his friends. Um, they don't move much. They just chill there. Oh, before we go into my house, let me just show you my wand outfits. If we go on here, we can go through my outfits. So we've got the wizard one that I'm currently wearing now. We've got the bakey one. Bakey beanie, obviously, on my head. The hot dog outfit. Uh, the joker outfit. And the work outfit for when I'm doing terraforming. And then we've got the PJs for nighttime. Can't really see much when wearing those. Pirate outfit. They don't have a pirate hat on Animal Crossing, which is really weird. But this is my little pirate outfit. I really want there to be a pirate hat. And my duck outfit is here very random um this is my house green stone piratey love it um this is the last part of my island actually but it's very extra in here so this is the main room as you walk in is my bedroom slash living room i haven't really done like my house I keep adding stuff and changing it a lot. So I'm probably going to leave my house till last when I fully do it because I keep getting new stuff and then having to move stuff around. Over here is my bed sheets. This is one of my favorite parts of it. It's just me and Snape on the bed sheets. Sliver and wallpaper, of course. Little penguin posters up. My little potions area for Snape. Magic set. Um, my mirror of error said there. Wizard's hat. Obviously, all the furniture is green and cute. I actually love this game so much. Look how cute it is. You see why I play it so much now, guys. Through here, we've got... I can't even remember what's through here. I haven't been in my house for so long. Uh... Oh, this is the bar. So it's very empty at the moment because I moved a lot of stuff to the pirate's bar outside. But I don't really know what to do with this room. It's kind of a bar at the moment. But if you've got any ideas, let me know what to put in this room here. To the left, we have got my bathroom. You can't really do much with personalized stuff in the bathroom. Like, when I go on Animal Crossing, I want to personalise as much thing. Oh, I kept the water running. Lovely. Obviously, you can't really personalise a lot of stuff in the bathroom. So, this is just a very simple, plain bathroom. Not much in there. In here, I've got the kitchen. I've changed this a lot. We've got a little slivering tablecloth over here. I don't really know what to do. It's quite small for a kitchen. So, I've tried to fit as much stuff as I can in. A lot of the stuff in my house, I am changing around. So, there's my kitchen. Upstairs, we have got my arcade. Again, I'm not too sure if to have the arcade inside or outside. I've just got a lot of machines and stuff. And a little UFO over here. A little alien comes down. Look how cute he is. I don't really know what to fill in this area. So, I put that there. I might make my bedroom separate to my living room. Then I've got two rooms going. Oh, I don't know if to have my arcade outside. But it doesn't really make sense to have arcade outside. Down here is my studio. This is my favorite room. Up here, I did have another hat. But I've only got one up there for some reason. Obviously, the baking merch is hot and everybody wants it. So, this is my studio where I film my videos, edit my videos, film Animal Crossing videos. Look, it's my little desk. Stand in front of here, film my videos. Uh, here's my achievements on the wall. Computer setup, signatures on the wall. My little schedule over here. If I turn the lights down, look how cool this area is. This is so cool. Uh, yeah, here's my studio in the basement, as you do. That is my favorite room. Definitely not changing any of that. I love that. But the rest of it is probably going to change around. And in my next video, I will show you. All right. And I think that is it for my island. Let me just run around again and check. Here's my island flag. Look how cute that is. Me and Snape on it. The tune for my island is the Hogwarts theme tune, obviously. Um, what else is there? I think that's about it. So yeah, I'm going to get more villagers build a lot more my island if you guys want me to do more animal crossing videos let me know get a big thumbs up what else you want to see go in the comments down below all the feedback is much appreciated if you are new here please hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications try my hardest to get to 200,000 subscribers and if i do another animal crossing video you don't want to miss it my island is only gonna get bigger and better because i'm getting more into this game and more understanding like the areas which i started building are like simple like this was my first ever one and then i moved on to having this like i want to know who else has got this in their island because i, 
I just don't know. So yeah, that is it for the video. After a lot of you guys suggested that I should do this video, I hope you enjoyed it. And maybe another island tour coming very soon to you guys. And uh, yeah, I love you guys so much and I'll see you very, very soon with another video. Bye. Oh, you're still here. I like you. You're not a muggle. You can watch my latest video by clicking here. You can also click subscribe by clicking here. If you go in the description down below, you'll find my social media links and a bit of merchandise from me. I love you guys so much and I'll see you very soon with another video. Bye. Whoa, she disappeared.